video, I'm going to introduce you to seven powerful tips and tricks to make your note taking experience awesome. At the end of the video, I also have a giveaway for you. This is a token of gratitude for my subscribers before April 30th, 2020. The details of how to get hold of this will be mentioned later in the video. Let's roll. What's up achievers? This is Morley. If you're new here, I'm here to help you improve your life using productivity tips and tools. If that's of interest to you, you're in the right place. Do me a quick favor and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any other tips and tricks that I bring your way. I've noticed many a time that even after buying the software, many don't end up using the power of the app. Let's start straight with tip number one, creating great looking sketches. Note takers pay great attention to the visual appeal of the notes. That includes making great looking sketches. But what happens if you really can't draw well? Or it takes too much time while you're taking notes? The fastest way for you to capture the note is to first identify an image that looks like the sketch that you want to draw. Pull that into your notes from your photos or from another website and you have one sitting that looks really pretty. But for some, that really doesn't cut it. They don't want a third party image, but a hand drawn one. Well, it's for those people that I have a tip. So just go ahead and import that image and draw over it. Yes, I'm talking about tracing. And after you've traced the image, color it. Use a highlighter. Once you're satisfied with your sketch, simply delete the imported image. And voila, you have a great looking sketch that's ready. Tip number two, create great looking notes. This is four tips in one. Most note takers leave the notes as is after taking it in class or at a meeting. Both notability and good notes allow you to recolor, resize and reposition your notes. All of this makes your notes look cleaner. This also makes space for additional points you couldn't capture at the meeting or in the classroom. Let's go to the second tip. When you capture your notes big, then that makes your notes appear prettier when you make them smaller. Tip number three. Thicker pens work much better than thinner ones. So while you write big, write steadier with a slightly thicker pen. Then your handwriting starts to look really nice. The fourth tip under this tip. Do you have a problem writing straight when you write on a plain piece of paper? You like the plain piece of paper because it looks much nicer. But then again, the straightness of the handwriting puts you off. Don't fret, you could use square paper or rule paper to write and to make sure that you can put these across neatly. Then all you have to do is to change the stationery at the end of it. And there you go. Tip number three, using colors for pens and highlighters. A highlighter makes your notes look pretty and you can highlight words or shade it like I discussed in tip number one. The highlighter can also be used to mark an item that's urgent. By stretching the highlighter right till the end, you just need to do a single click with the eraser to eliminate the entire line. So if you want to do a task that has a certain priority for that day, all you need to do is to use the highlighter, stretch it to the end and de-highlight it once it's done. Just to add, now in both the apps, you can highlight behind the text and delete the highlighter separately. Tip number four, identifying tasks from your notes using the search tool. Assume that you're taking handwritten notes in the class or in the office. And as you go back and review the notes, you identify people to whom you want to clarify something with or pass on a task. The best way to do this is to add a name of the person on the notepad. Later on, when you go and meet that person, then you can do a search with that name. Once the tasks have been finished, you can take them off. Tip number five, using PDF templates. One of the great advantages of taking structured notes is by using a hack. And that hack is to use a PDF template that has pre-filled information. That pre-filled information could be a question or a comment that you could take advantage of. You can create these in Word or in PPT. I use these extensively for storyboarding on my YouTube videos and import these into Notion once I complete. Why Notion? I use Notion for the project management of all my videos. I have a separate video on this. You can see it by clicking above. So I have a four-step process for capturing my storyboards. 
Step number one is to choose my story. Step number two is to build the components of my story. Step number three is to identify the archetype of the story. And step number four is the actual crafting of my story. What I have in these templates are prompts. Prompts that tell me what I should do to write out my story and to identify which part of the template that this story identifies with. Since you can't really replicate the feeling of a bullet journal or a paper diary, I've also created a diary that I use to mark off important things to do during the day or the week. If you take notes and you're aware that you need to pull in images, tables or icons from time to time, you can have those created in a presentation like keynotes or PPT hyperlinks to the web. While taking notes on the iPad, you may also want to include a reference to a certain web page. By just clicking on the web page and dragging the web page link, you can transfer the snapshot page onto your notes. But then you may ask, how does that hyperlink? That's simple. Just click on it. It'll say edit clip. And then at the top, you will see the hyperlink. Just click on it to go back to the web page. That's how it works for Notability. In good notes, by clicking on the handwritten web page, you can click on the lookup and that will take you to Google first. And the first search is your desired web page. Tip number seven, switching notes. It's amazing how many times you have to keep switching notes to review stuff. In Notability, you just have to swipe from the left to the right to bring this up. And in good notes, you have tabs. It's quick and you can keep moving back and forth. Now, let's talk about the giveaway. I just felt that a big thank you was due to people who've encouraged my channel and showed their appreciation by supporting me. This giveaway is completely free and it's voluntary on your part to participate. The giveaway is this. The Leather Planner has a laser etched gold leaf special edition at the front it's been inspired by the best weekly planners out there in the printed format. And of course, this has great consideration for the environment and takes advantage of using an iPad or any other tablet. The planner is divided into six sections. It's got a habit tracker, a to-do list, a 53-week calendar, a finances section, a notes section, and of course, carefully crafted stickers. You can jump straight to a specific week. You can search your notes using the search tool and you can directly come back to the cover page. I'll send this to you as a combination of a PDF, a keynote file and a PowerPoint file. So now you may have a question, how do I get it? All you need to do are these three steps. Just take a screenshot of the subscribed homepage and send this to studiocx360 at gmail.com. Use the subject giveaway. Don't forget to mention whether you're a student, working or an entrepreneur. This will help me to tailor the content and give future giveaways that are relevant. Just remember that the last date for enrolling for this giveaway is April 30th, 2020. I'd love to hear suggestions that you want me to incorporate for future templates. Leave your comments below. I know I haven't covered many functions of Notability or GoodNotes, and I haven't compared GoodNotes and Notability in this video. For that, you could take a look at the above videos that will help you navigate this subject. If you're not yet part of this community, do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. This is just my first giveaway and I plan to do more in the near future. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, wash your hands, peace.